Hi there. Um, while at the county the other day at Land Records, I, while sifting through all the applications in order to show causes, I came across this uh, order that was filed on and entered on June 3rd, 2008, involving uh, Judge Jeffrey A. Cohen. And the applicant is uh, Sabre, well, I'm just going to call it SD because it's some name that's hard to pronounce. And this is the order. She, uh, I'll read it to you, you know, verbatim like I did the other one about Judge Kakesi. Uh The applicant, SJ, seeks a New York State pistol license for the purpose of target shooting. This court, in its capacity as handgun licensing officer for the County of Westchester, has presented with the application, which includes in accordance with Penal Law 404, the results of the investigation that the Westchester County Department of Public Safety conducted concerning uh, the meet, uh, SD's background and which recommends that the applicant uh, be disapproved for uh, said permit. Um, it goes on to say, in support of her application, Ms. D preferred uh, a sworn statement of October 15, 2007, in which she avers that her husband has had a license for many years and I would like to target practice with him. That uh, she would like to join her husband and son in target shooting and that she intend, intends to go target shooting as often as her husband and son go and then she goes on to say maybe I'll even go on my own without an in, an, any indication of the frequency with which that may occur. In so far as these uh, assertions, the sole statements offered in support of her request for a license to engage in target shooting demonstrate only a casual interest in sport target shooting rather than a legitimate and substantial interest in the activity. The applicant has failed to show the necessary proper cause for the issuance of a firearm license for such a purpose. This is Judge Jeffrey A. Cohen. See Penal Law 400 2 F in the matter of the application of O'Connor 154 miscellaneous County Westchester County 1992. Under these circumstances where Ms. D has requested a license for the purpose of target shooting only, her application for such a pistol license must be denied in all respects. Despite her otherwise unremarkable background, The foregoing shall constitute the decision and order of the court. It's, it's, it's mind-boggling. It's a two-page document. You know, that denies an applicant a pistol permit for target shooting because she doesn't show enough reasons and enough enthusiasm for the sport. Can you believe that? Denied. Because she didn't say how often she was going to go target shooting. You see this? This is a hand booklet of the Constitution of the United States. I went down on Monday not too long ago for the Second Amendment rally in D.C. with a bunch of guys from Connecticut because no one in New York was going. But the guys from Connecticut were kind enough to give me a ride down for $40 round trip. And they handed this to all the, the members of the group that went down. And, you know, the, the Second Amendment to the U.S. Constitution of the United States of America has nothing to do with target shooting or hunting. Nothing to do with that whatsoever. In, in, in case you don't know, the, the Second Amendment reads, it's, it's very simple and straightforward. There's no ambiguity or confusion. It reads, a well-regulated militia being necessary to the security of a free state. And when they say well-regulated militia, they don't mean the, the reserves or the Navy or the Army or the Navy Marines or whatever. They mean a militia formed by citizens. And it goes on to say, the right of the people to keep and bear arms, to keep, possess and bear on your persons, to carry shall not be infringed. Nowhere does it say, nowhere does it say 
anything about target shooting or hunting or anything like that, a well-regulated militia being necessary to the security of a free state. This is why we are the United States of America. This is why we are free. The right of the people to keep and bear arms shall not, shall not be infringed. Shall not be infringed. You know, uh, 44 states, that's 88% of the, of, the, of the states in this country, 88% of the states in this country have the Constitution incorporated into their state Constitution. They recognize that the Second Amendment is a right of the people on a state and local level. It's not about target shooting or hunting. It has nothing to do with that. You know, we have reps here in New York that, you know, rather than, like John Boehner said when he gave that eloquent speech on the night health care was uh, being voted on, the House is the House of the people. Our reps are there to represent our will, not, not to do what they feel is best for us. They're, 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 they are there to make sure that they listen to their constituents and do as their, and do as their constituents want them to do. And our judges, the licensing officers, they are in a position to protect our rights. And our Second Amendment is a right. It, shall, it should not be infringed upon. Anyway, if you go to the county, there's tons and tons. You'd be mind boggled. But this, like the, the one from Judge Kakesi giving that permit back to that individual who was convicted of drug possession charges, I mean, how does she know he's not a drug dealer? It's ludicrous, ludicrous to say the least. Anyway, stay tuned for more.